and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing braided bantu knots and this is the first time I'm ever, ever, ever in my life doing this. And yeah, I can't wait to show you how to do it. So let's get into it. Okay guys, so I'm starting off with the rubber band method. As you can tell, I've already sectioned my hair. You didn't have to like watch me go and make these parts, but thank God for my mother because she helped me because I could not see the back of my head. I tried to slick it down so that the bantu knots can be like super flawless. This is my first time ever doing braided bantu knots, so we're going on this journey together. What I use to kind of slick down my edges and my roots, I use the Mayel Organics Honey and Ginger Flexible Hold Gel. And I will say like I really do love this this, I would say it's edge control because it, it's controlling my edges right now. And what I'm using for my hair, it is actually the brand Sensational. Um, it's pre-stretched hair, 24 inches. Um, it's divided into three sections. I got it in the colors 1B and 30 because you, know, you can tell like, a little ombre situation going on here. And the tips of my hair are kind of a 30 and they're actually becoming more of like a blonde, which is like a 27 because I've been out in the sun so much. I'm just gonna go with the 30 because it's kind of safer. Um, so yeah, this is what I'm gonna use to braid my hair for the braided band to not. And to kind of mesh like the braiding hair and my hair together, I'm also gonna be using, you already know, Let's Jam. It's like my go-to for when I like break my hair and do stuff. This combination, guys, is lethal. So yeah, I'm excited. And I'm also probably gonna divide this video into two. I really don't wanna sleep on the Bantu knots, so I'm going to just braid it tonight. And then tomorrow morning, I'm gonna wake up and I'm gonna do the Bantu knots and show you guys how I do it. And then I'll give you final looks and then it's gonna be lit. But for right now, let's get into these braids. Okay, so I've basically done my whole head except one. I have one little twist left and I'm gonna take that out for you guys and gonna comb through it. It just makes it easier when I'm braiding and I'm going to get some jam and I'm gonna put it all throughout that piece of hair. And then I'm gonna take the edge control and put it on the tips of my hair because it makes it easier to blend in with this hair. So now I'm gonna take it just like I would in my other video and put it at the root of where the braid is and start braiding like normal. And so we're getting towards the end of my hair and I'm gonna take some hair from both of the other strands I'm gonna add it to the section where my hair is and I'm gonna take some jam to put on my hair to kind of make it easier to keep braiding. I'm gonna braid all the way to the end. And voila, all of my braids are done. That nice pretty color. And now I'm gonna go to sleep. Hey guys, so it's two days later and I'm gonna show you guys how I achieved my braided Bantu knot. So I left one out and I'm gonna show you how I apply the gold string, which I love as an accent for the braided Bantu knot and then show you how I wrap it and we'll be good to go. So now I'm taking the gold string and I'm trying to estimate how long I actually need it and I'm gonna cut it. And now I'm gonna add the gold string towards the root of my hair where I added the braiding hair and I'm just going to use the braid as another strand for another braid. <laughs> and I'm gonna braid it all the way down. And now I'm wrapping the braid around itself and as you can see, it's creating a knot. And also, there is a knot behind it that's becoming, you know, loose. And that's normal when you're doing Bantu knots because I didn't use pins right here. So I'm just gonna adjust that braid that became loose. And yeah. And I'm so happy with how this came out. It's so cute. And yeah, guys, look, these are my parts. Can't forget the baby hairs. And here we are with my favorite edge gel. I'm just gonna lightly put that around my edges, not doing any type of special baby hair tricks, but just pretty simple for this look. Yay! 
and here's my final look thank you guys so much for stopping by my channel and i will see you in the next video